Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Tuesday, the 13th day of January. Here we go. Today, a couple of laws about squeezing liquids from things like fruits on Shabbos. Let's get right to it. For example, let's say you have a wedge of lemon, and you wanted to squeeze some lemon juice out of that wedge of lemon, or out of the lemon, and you wanted to squeeze it directly onto a piece of fish to flavor the fish. So that is allowed. Um, part of the reason is because the liquid is going straight out of the solid lemon back into the solid piece of fish, and it's flavoring that piece of fish. And in that type of uh, schita, where it's going in that fashion and it's not a full-fledged schita, well, we don't have to get into all the technicalities of it, but the halacha is clear that that type of squeezing of lemon juice from a piece of lemon onto a piece of fish where it's absorbed into it for taste, then it is allowed. But if you wanted to squeeze that lemon juice into liquid, like, for example, squeezing a lemon to have the lemon juice flow out into a cup of tea, that would not be allowed. <laughs> Here's where it gets interesting. What if someone wanted to squeeze out some liquid from a piece of lemon onto the sugar, and it's fully absorbed into the sugar, and then plop that sugar into the tea? Hate to sound weird, but that's allowed because there the lemon juice is being squeezed from the lemon into the sugar, and it's just like that previous case of the fish, and so in that instance, it's allowed. Now, even though you probably all know that you're not allowed to squeeze a fruit, like squeeze an orange to make orange juice on Shabbos, you're not allowed to do that, but if you wanted to just like have a wedge of orange in your hand and put the wedge in your mouth and suck the juices out of that orange, that's like eating, and that is allowed, so although that is, you know, technically you're sort of kind of getting this juice squoze out of the orange, but you're doing it in a style of eating where you are sucking on the orange wedge and thereby getting the liquid right into your mouth. Halachically, that is permitted. Similarly, uh, I don't know people who do this, but apparently it's out there in halacha that some people would like to dip their challah in uh, wine and then suck the wine out of the challah. So that's very similar to that case of sucking the juice straight out of the orange wedge right into your mouth. If you suck the wine right out of the challah into your mouth, that would be allowed also. And so it is clearly written in halacha. But in those last two cases where you are sucking the juice out of the orange right into your mouth or sucking the wine right out of the challah into your mouth, you must be very careful that your hand is not squeezing the orange at all um, or the challah at all because that's the type of uh, schita that would not be allowed. Thank you for listening. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.